I still wanted to see a 2-keto aryl cyclohexylamine being synthesized, and so I went to visit my friend, Jason Wallet. In order to demonstrate the chemistry, we chose to prepare a structurally related ketamine derivative called desclorochetamine, which is not a controlled substance. Pulverized magnesium turnings are suspended in THF with iodine crystals. Bromocyclopentane is added dropwise, forming the Grignard reagent cyclopentyl magnesium bromide in an exothermic reaction. A great way of making carbon-carbon bonds. Benzonitriles added to the reaction mix dropwise. Very nice it smell. Yeah, it really does smell like almonds. The cyclopentyl magnesium bromide acts as a carbon ion, attacking the electrophilic nitrile carbon. And this produces an imine which is then hydrolyzed to a ketone. A flask is charged with ether followed by aluminum chloride, the cyclopentyl phenyl ketone, and a dropwise addition of elemental bromine. A Lewis adduct stabilizes the enol tautomer, which undergoes an SN2 reaction, attacking bromine to form the bromocyclopentyl phenyl ketone. Yeah, the next step's a nucleophilic substitution reaction with hydroxides, and the hydroxide's gonna be the source of our alcohol. The bromocyclopentyl phenyl ketone is dissolved in isopropanol with a two molar excess of aqueous potassium hydroxide. In an SN1 reaction, the bromine acts as a leaving group, and the tertiary carbocation is attacked by nucleophilic hydroxide ions, yielding the hydroxycyclopentyl phenyl ketone. So this is the alcohol product. The hydroxycyclopentyl phenyl ketone is dissolved in methanol with a dash of three angstrom molecular sieves, followed by a solution of methylamine in THF. Methylamine. Lone pair electrons on the nitrogen attack the carbonyl, forming a hemianol, which collapses after intramolecular proton transfer and elimination of water to yield an imine that's isolated. Here's the evaporated imine. Now we're just going to dissolve it in dichlorobenzene. The imine solution is transferred into a microwave reactor for five hours at 145 degrees Celsius. And you end up with the structure rearranging into beta keto aryl cyclohexylamine. The defining feature of the synthesis is a thermal alpha hydroxy imine rearrangement. The lone pair on the imine nitrogen abstracts a hydroxyl proton and electrons from the oxygen flow into a pi bond while a ring carbon sigma bond vibrates to the imine carbon and electrons from the imine pi bond flow into the nitrogen, expanding the ring to afford the thermodynamically favored isomeric product desclorochetamine in a single step. And that last step is it's a very strange reaction. It's not something that's taught in general organic chemistry. The crude desclorochetamine freebase is purified by a column chromatography and the identity is confirmed with ASAP-MS. Much easier to make PCP and it's much more potent. 